Now we're here to make sure that you have a safe and comfortable Please flight. Thank you for your attention, and we hope you enjoy the JetBlue experience on our way to New York. Four twenty-five in the a.m. We're about to leave this hotel in Fort Lauderdale to get our flight back to New York City. Did you forget anything? Let's go. We got to bed at like 1.30 last night, so I'm all sleepy. We missed the shuttle. That's it. Francine's birthday party is, this flight's due to get in at 9, so we should be okay, but like, meh, stressful morning. And we are boarding the flight now. We're the fourth and fifth people, respectively, allowed on the plane. That's not bad. Flying JetBlue because our American Airlines flight didn't get us in in time. How's your cheeseburger? Sure. It's really good. And an amazing, incredible rock star in flight crew that's going to treat you well all the way to New York's JFK Airport. We're very, very grateful you're here. Thanks. Welcome aboard. They are so nice on JetBlue. Candace isn't sitting with me. We are landing in New York City right now. Candace is still sound asleep. Jetboy always now welcomes you to New York, John F. Kennedy International Airport, where the local time is now 8.17. To wake up. We're not even at the gate yet. Leave me alone. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. <laughs> that guy watches the vlog. Because we took the JetBlue flight instead of the American flight, we made it back in time. The last major variable is the gridlock rush hour traffic between here and Manhattan. But I think I've got a solution for that. <laughs> Fabulous birthday party. Entirely worth chartering a helicopter to make it to. A couple of words about Cuba. That trip to Cuba was one of like the most, certainly the most interesting, but one of the like better travel experiences I've ever had in my entire life. 
it was like visiting another world and another time and another and as I was rewatching the vlogs that I shot there I feel like I really romanticized what I experienced in Cuba but there was a lot I left out and I just wanted to take a minute to address that. I was there as part of a technology delegation. So we were there on what they called a cultural exchange program. We were supposed to meet with like our Cuban counterparts and discuss technologies and what it could do. The Cuban government actually stepped in at the last minute and like said no to a lot of the things we wanted to do and a lot of the things we wanted to discuss. And a lot of what we were there to do was compromised. They dictated the terms of what turned out to be a very boring panel. Y eh, comencé a utilizar internet como una herramienta para apoyarme. And that should have been interesting. This idea that a, a government could tell you what you can and cannot say is something that I, I know nothing about. And then last night when that Uber driver was taking Candace and I back to our hotel and he talked about getting into an inner tube and paddling from Cuba to the United States of America because he sought after that freedom where he could say what he wanted to say and do what he wanted to do so much that he risked his entire life for it. It kind of put the entire thing in perspective. I wanted to counter my romanticizing what is an absolutely beautiful country and an amazing city and like just, that's kind of it. There's nothing else I'm gonna tell you that you can't find on Wikipedia, but I wanted to round out what was my Cuban experience a little bit. Man, oh man, today has been a long day and tomorrow is December 5th. Tomorrow is Francine's actual first birthday. I now have a one-year-old, which is very exciting. Hello and welcome to John F. Kennedy International Airport. You are now on the arrival level of 